Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to my shop. This video is about adding an addendum or change to the WorkSharp 3000 workstation and how the sharpener is mounted to that. Now this change is based on a suggestion I received from a viewer. And I'll list his name below when I get permission to list his name. See my video on this in the description below for my version 3 of this workstation. Now stick around to the end of this and I'll have another tip regarding redesigning this for your needs. If you enjoyed this video and you get some inspiration to update your sharpener, please give me a like and hit that thumbs up icon. Please share it with your family, friends, and fellow woodworking enthusiasts. Please give us your comments on what you would like to see, any questions you may have, and what ideas you can share with us. As you can see in this one, we do get good and valuable suggestions from you and we want to pass that on to others. So thank you for your contributions. Please subscribe and be sure to hit that bell icon so you won't miss anything new. So let's get to this one now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to put in these to uh, make things adjustable here. So I can adjust these up and down and zero it in and tune it in better and get a le better level. Uh, a viewer had suggested this. And so what I'm going to do is take these nuts off. Uh, probably lift the unit off. Then I can take these blocks off that I had put on here, which are not glued in or anything. There's a couple of blocks I did, and then I uh, tweaked them with some cards, playing cards, as some shims to get it leveled up as best as I could. But as my viewer told me, that with using some nuts and stuff, I can get a more fine-tuned balance to this, or level to it, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these nuts off and change them out. Alright, so I've got uh, all the nuts and the washers off of this so I can just lift this unit out of here and then I can work on replacing these spacers. Set it right up there. Then, take these off. Cards, I'm going to put a washer back on here. What I'm going to do is put a nut on that's going to hold those bolts up. I'll put some nuts on, which will become my adjuster nuts. Okay, then put washers on top of those to give support to the bottom of the work sharp. Now I'm gonna set this back on. Okay. okay, so these two back ones are pretty close to being level here. I'm sure as I bring up this other end uh, to be more in balance, that's going to change this a little bit. So it'll take some tweaking uh, going around to get them level. So I'm just going to be putting nuts and washers on top of these four. I'm just going to get them barely started here for now. Then I'll work on uh, tweaking this up and getting it perfectly straight and level. And then I'll come back and show you how I got it. Okay, so this worked out well. Got carriage bolts that are coming up through there. The head of the carriage bolt there has got that square in the bottom so it helps to keep it from turning. Well, I got this nut tightened up on it. Then I have a nut here, another washer, another flat washer, and a nut up here. And I adjusted these nuts here to get good balance across everything here. So I got a good straight edge, good and flat. So that'll work great. I was able to more precisely tune this in by using this suggestion from my viewer. So appreciate that. Many thanks and 
to be able to share this with the rest of you. In addition to what I had done before, or a little bit of a correction or a tweak, is when I set these on here and tighten these down, I found that just these small washers were uh, not quite enough to cover some of the gaps. It depends on how well and how perfectly you line up all these bolts uh, coming up through your bottom here and to fit with the foot. So what I did was I put some extra washers on. On the bottom here above the nut, you know, I put on the 5 16 washer, and then the 3 8 washer to give it more diameter there to cover the foot better. Then on the top side of here, I'll put on the 3 8 washer, then the 5 16 washer, and then the nut. And that way it'll give it uh, great coverage so that it covers that foot real well and gets it good and secure. That works a lot better. Well, this wraps it up uh, for this video, for getting this change made for leveling up the feet and getting this top so that it's good and flat. Now, a lot of people might ask, why go through all the trouble of elevating this thing uh, so high to match these tabletops? That depends on how you want to set it up. Um, if you follow Stumpy Dubs plans, you probably don't need to bother with all of this. However, I wanted a one-piece drawer all the way across that would hold all my accessories. Also, in this disc tower here, I needed uh, slots for eight discs. And each of these discs requires a certain width or uh, thickness for the discs. So you add up eight of those times the thicknesses and the divider boards that are each a quarter inch and top. That raises things up a bit, so. Uh, but I did that because it matches up with what my needs are. If your needs are different, you can do it differently, so. And, of course, uh, this Tormek toolbar is, you know, a great addition here to make up for that uh, WorkSharp toolbar that had been discontinued. And this really adds a lot of uh, abilities for your sharpening needs. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and you got some inspiration to update your sharpener, please give me a like and hit that thumbs up icon. Please share it with your family, friends, and fellow woodworking enthusiasts. Please give us your comments on what you would like to see, any questions you may have, and what ideas you can share with us. As you can see, in this video, we get great ideas and suggestions from you, and we want to share that with others. So thank you for your contributions. And please subscribe and be sure to hit that bell icon so you won't miss anything new. Thank you. Mm -hmm.